National Technical Systems. We engineer success. Hello and welcome to NTS's Test Harness Demo. Our test harnesses cover a wide range of technologies and protocols. As a leading test laboratory and engineering services company, we pride ourselves in creating test harnesses that have the engineer in mind, developing features and functions that greatly reduce test and development time, as well as providing solutions that are easy to use, stable, and technology savvy. For the purposes of this demo, let's use one of our test harnesses that we developed for Zigbee certification. The basic framework of our test harnesses are comprised of two main parts. The first is the console whose main function is to log all over-the-air communication between the device under test and the test harness, including timestamps, color coding, and decoding of packets, as well as the full information about the test case such as name, section, and description. The console also logs all interactions between the harness software on the PC and the hardware. The second is the main GUI and driver for the test harness that carries most of the test harness's functionality that we are about to show you. A test normally starts by inputting the test information. These include the name of tester, date of test, as well as the information about the device under test. This information will be tied to the session and therefore to all results and logs for that test. Next, the tester will use a test harness to decide what test to run. The test harness will query the device under test about its features and use an internal map to pre-populate the full list of test cases needed to test and certify that specific device. The list could still be altered by the tester if he or she would like to change the testing coverage. Note that the tester has the option to customize the list of test cases from a certification program by adding test cases and scripts related to a different specification. In this example, we added eye control test cases to the Zigbee home automation test cases. If applicable, the tester can also set up through the test harness the automated capture over the air tracing through a third party tool such as Wireshark or Ubiqua. For our example, the harness controls the Ubiqua sniffer tool. As we'll show later, this will create a separate over the air log to match every test case run by the test harness. Once the test harness has been set up with the test info and loaded with the correct set of test cases, the tester selects the test case he or she wants to start with from the list and hit start test. The harness will then run the test case by sending the appropriate over the air commands to the device under test and waits for the responses. Once the responses are received, the harness will compare those with the expected results and automatically issue a pass fail verdict. Note that in this case, the tester has a choice to accept the result, override it, or repeat the test case. The tester can also add a comment to go with each test case. The tester also has a choice to set up a series of tests to run sequentially without interruption. After doing that, starting the first test case will trigger the test harness to run that first test case and, when it's done, automatically move to the next one. As you can see here, all three test cases will run without the need for user interaction. This is a great feature for overnight testing, regression testing, or just general hands-off testing to free up resources for other jobs. Of course, this process will still result in separate logs and verdicts for each of the test cases selected. As you can see here, all three test cases will run without the need for user interaction. At any time during testing, the full session including information, logs, and status of all test cases can be saved in order to be reloaded at a later time. This makes it easy to jump between different projects or test multiple firmware revisions at the same time. When the testing is done, the harness will generate a final report in HTML format that contains all the information needed. All the cases are included with their status along with a detailed harness log for each one, as well as any comments introduced by the tester. Those are preceded with the device under test and tester information. To go with the final report, the harness will produce a master log of all the interactions from the start of the test, 
as well as a standalone log and over the air trays for each test case run. NTS's test harnesses also have the ability to run tests manually. The tester can use the GUI tabs to easily send commands. The GUI makes it much simpler to send sometimes complicated commands involving timings, dependencies, and others. For example, sending a command for the DUT to change color through the lighting features. The tester could also choose to use the command line interface, or CLI, to send manual commands to the device under test. The CLI will give full access to all Test Harness API as well as actual Stack App API that the Test Harness uses. This means by using the CLI, the user will have access to any feature and will be able to send malformed commands or commands with bad parameters, etc. for negative and boundary testing. The Test Harness, of course, can be updated remotely. This makes it very easy for users to receive updates that may fix bugs and add features. The update could touch the actual stack on the chip, the host app, the software tool itself, or even the scripts. So far, we have shown you the most used features of the test harness in the day-to-day -day pre testing and certification activities. However, the test harness has many more features that can be very useful depending on the specific application. For example, the test harness is very easily scriptable. A script editor is embedded into the tool and it's just one click away. Open it and you will have the ability to write any script you want. Scripting is done in Java, so anything you can do in Java, you can do in a script. Simply write the test case you want, save it, and the test harness will load it as a part of your test list going forward. You can even write test cases for clusters and features that may not yet be available. No need to save. Just reload and run it to check what you've written so far. Simply highlight the code you want to test and run it. The GUI for the harness is also all script based. This means you can very easily, as a user, add more tabs and or more options within the tabs of the GUI for commands and functions you use most. Another cool feature is the device under test control. NTS's test harnesses allow you to set up a connection to the device under test and therefore write scripts that control both the test harness hardware as well as the device under test. This is an ideal solution for setting up an overnight QA cycle where testers simply have to push a button, go home, and come back in the morning with a full set of test results available for review. If you already have scripts that exercise your device under test and you want to integrate the test harness into those, we also have a solution for you. The NTS test harness can be reached and remotely controlled through Telnet. This means your master scripts can open a remote connection to the test harness and ask it to run specific cases, or basically do anything the harness is capable of doing. All test harness features and APIs are clearly documented in our manuals in the help toolbar. We want to thank you for your interest in our test harnesses. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email us at NTS test harness at nts.com or give us a call at 310-641-7700. We'll be more than happy to assist you. And remember, at National Technical Systems, we engineer success. Thank you.